My name is Andrew Humphrey and I'm the Assembly Shop Manager at Universal Race Technology. That involves me organising all the assembly work that we carry out, organising staff and generally getting the job done. We assemble composite components, so anything from boats, um, racing cars is one of our, our, our main industries that we're into, so into motorsport, so chassis for that kind of application. Um, also military um, applications we've started to get into now as well, so military vehicles. Oh, I've been trained on the job, uh, doing business for, for four years as well as learning it at university at the same time, so I'll get the academic qualifications as well as the work experience. It's four years the apprenticeship. Um, in my first two years I will move around placements, um, working in design, working in assembly. Um, just kind of different placements in engineering and then in your, net, in your last two years you work around specific placements, mainly engineering, so you could go into test engineering placements, um, design engineering, all engineering specific, whereas in the first two years you just get a feel of what actually goes on in the company. So day to day role would be making sure x-rays perform how they should be, testing outputs, testing image quality, uh, making sure that the staff and patients aren't getting more radiation than is expected. Um, also looking at non-ionising such as lights, lasers, ultrasound. I'm a mechanical engineer but I also work in condition-based monitoring. So that can be thermal imaging, oil analysis and vibration. So we're working in preventative maintenance to reduce breakdowns and downtime. We're a contractor company and we work in blue chip factories across the country, including well-known sugar manufacturer, pet foods. So it's all um, processing factories that we work in. When I started my apprenticeship, I think I was about 23. So, I mean, I was quite old to apply for an apprenticeship. A lot of people, they sort of think that you need to do them straight after school. Um, I applied, was successful, and went on to do a course um, at Preston College, which was a BTEC in chemistry. I'm a technician at the National Nuclear Laboratory in Preston. It's working with radioactive samples. Um, what that is, is we do analysis, basic analysis, chemistry sort of jobs on samples that we receive from different uh, sites which are in decommissioning process and from other companies around the country and hopefully trying to go into the worldwide market as well. I've gone through a four year apprenticeship so far uh, in the first year we spent time going around the shop floor which is the work manufacturing and working area. Uh, go around various areas learning the capabilities that we have, um, what the various machines do, what each section within the factory does. Um, and once we've got a knowledge of that we then move on to engineering placements. We're working with fellow engineers as part of a team um, to get the product through and get the the product out to the customer. I work in a manufacturing site, the cans and PET, the bottles, um, for like Pepsi, Tango, different products um, that are associated with Britvic and Pepsi. Um, and I kind of I make sure that it's all as it should be, like it tastes right, it looks right, it's in the right packaging, it just makes sure that the quality is 100% really. The first year uh, I knew I was doing the hands-on experience. It was, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't, it wasn't exactly what I wanted to be doing then. When I moved into the second year, uh, and this was the manufacturing engineering side, so this was getting the information from the design team and um, taking that and putting it into plannings to show the operators how to do it, and then looking at the dimensions, etc., and trying to put that into one whole document. Uh, and that was something I really enjoyed. And when I started taking this on, I thought, yeah, this is really what I want to be doing. My name is Tom Hamer and I'm a technician of the Department of Electrical Engineering at University College London. I will make and design prototypes for students' research work, research work with inside the department and outside the department. When I first applied for the company, I was kind of taken back by how it says MBDA and then missile systems. I didn't think we uh, even built missile systems in this country, never mind in the same town that I lived in. You start your placements on the shop floor, you go to various placements, you do three months of your time on each section and then in your second year you lead up to going into the engineering offices. In your third and fourth year you start to go into where you're going to come out your time on. You're not just expected to know how to build a missile as soon as you start here at all. Like I still don't know how to build a full missile but you sort of um, learn 
your job role. So you could be um, a designer and you design only a certain bit, you wouldn't design the whole missile.